What's up guys and welcome back. So today we have something a little bit special for you. We have the one and only Classic Ben's Coop. If you guys don't follow this guy, you definitely need to go on Instagram right now and go follow him. This car is amazing. It is wicked. It is awesome. It's uh, honestly, words cannot describe on how D -d this car is just perfect, in my opinion. It has beautiful Recaro seats, the most beautiful olive dash, the nice wood grain, a five speed manual transmission, and also one of my favorite parts about this entire car is that it has my personal favorite motor swap in it. Check it out. Here we go. Ready? Boom! An M103 3.0. This is my personal favorite engine. They are amazing. They're reliable. They're freaking awesome. They're just as awesome as this car. Let's be realistic. There's no better motor swap. I'll fight you on that, by the way. I love this motor. But seriously, guys, this thing is amazing. So, what we're going to be doing with this bad boy right here is going to be dressing up the engine bay and making it look just as good as the rest of the car. Obviously, the CIS is a little dated, so we're going to be doing EFI. We need a little bit more power, so I'm pretty sure we're going to go ahead and add a turbo right here. And then we're going to go ahead and shave up the engine bay and make it look just as good as the rest of the car, like I said. So let's go ahead and unbox all these parts that we have and then show you what we got. All right, so as you can see, we have everything unboxed, and I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what we use. This is gonna be kind of like one of my DIY videos in a sense. I'm gonna try to explain to you guys the best I can on how I do EFI, what sensors I use, obviously, what ECU we're using, uh, as well as a few of the other little things. So to start with, we have a micro squirt ECU, a 60 takeaway two trigger wheel. We have a VR style universal crankshaft position sensor. We have a GM IAT sensor as well as a GM map sensor. We're using a BMW M50 throttle position sensor. We do use the original or stock coolant temp sensor. We have a Mitsubishi 3000 GT ignition control module. We have a DIY auto tune or a Dodge Grand Caravan or I, I mean this thing could probably be for so many different cars. It's not even funny But this right here wasted spark and then we have our Simus and Deca injectors and last sensor, but not least our wideband O2 and then Obviously we have our wiring harness that comes with our ECU and then I personally like to drive up the wiring harness in the shielding right here it's the best stuff in the world and I will go ahead and try to post a link in the description for most of these parts right here so if you guys want to obviously get these you can as well as you can see we also have all of our turbo stuff right here ready to go but we'll get into all this kind of stuff in a later video as of right now we're just gonna worry about shaving the engine bay doing EFI getting it running and driving and then we'll go ahead and add some crazy power to it but you guys asked for it, so I figured what better car to add EFI on other than this one. I mean, this is going to be a perfect example and perfect setup to go ahead and do it on, so why not go ahead and show it to you on this thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.